Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Sevtech. So we are back at our base and uh, I've gotten some leather. already got six and uh, so I decided, hey, I'll go and make uh, another 12. So I got racks on both sides. There you go. And uh, I did some work up top here. Uh, the biggest work I did was basically light up the area a bit more. I also got this uh, thatch, I believe it's called. Uh, basically when you break this stuff up, there you go. Uh, let's break four of them up. There you go. Uh, when you break this stuff up, you can get uh, these little bushes, but you put them together and you get something called thatch. Actually, I don't know if you can mix and match them. Oh, you can. I didn't realize that. I was dropping them if I wasn't getting four of a pair before. And basically what you can do is you can put them together like this and you get wet thatch and then basically from here you just place it on the ground and you can see the the difference in colors um, they probably could be all side by side I don't know I just have them spread out uh, and then you get th dry thatch uh, when you uh, pick it up so I saw something that will require that in the near future so I thought I'd give it a try uh, and uh, create some but uh, either way it is another resource that we'll use and need over time, so awesome. Uh, I moved this up just uh, more in the center there. Uh, I leveled up the area just a bit, just took some materials, didn't have a lot of dirt right now, but just flattening the area out, cleaned up some of the grass in the area as well. I was getting a little tired. And then, of course, I torched out the area a lot further out. Um, I think it's on F7 right now. Let's see, is it on F7? Okay, there you go. It's off now. Oh, yeah, you can feel the improvement a bit. Uh, it does lag the client just a wee bit when you have it on. I noticed because I've been eating a lot of meat, my protein is at max. So I need to start working on things like vegetables, fruit. Uh, actually, grain wouldn't be a bad thing as well to work on. So uh, hopefully we can get some farmland and work on that too in the near future. Uh, so today, I guess we're going to look at what we can produce, I guess, mainly with leather and I think one of the first ones I wanted to make was a bed. Uh, the bed seems pretty straightforward. Ah, that's where the thatch was. So here you go. So you have this thatch and you can build the, this with uh, two and then put it in there. Okay, so here you go. Uh, that should be what we need. And then I'm assuming you just put it on there and ax it up. There you go. Wait, was that a one for one recipe? Oh, no. Oh. Hey, you know what? I like that. I got what I needed. <laughs> no extra waste. Uh, and then your leather. Oh, this is the dry hide. You know, I never finished the uh, leather properly. I feel a little bit of an idiot on that. I thought I had finished that, so we're going to finish that together. That means we're going to have to... Ooh, there's our little achievement. We're going to have to do a little bit more work together, but... Uh, It'll be worth it in the end. Uh, now, I've mixed up my inventory really badly. I use this, which works, but I tried to do the merge into... Oh, now it works. The merge into local chess, but I accidentally derped up and didn't do it correctly. And er instead, everything merged and made one hell of a mess. So, uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, let's see what the wood ones are. Uh, the wood ones... Well, wood is right here. Is this... No, I'm trying to find where the bark is or the ground up bark. Let's see if we can, unless if I have it in my inventory, no. So with the dry hide now, what we're going to do is, uh, well, we have dry hide. And then we're going to take dry hide and we're going to take uh, ground resin. So it looks like that, actually, this might have been it right here. Oh, there you go. And then the bladder, of course. So we're going to do this at the lake. I found this to be a little easier. And I, I've come up with a bit of a shortcut to do this slightly faster. Uh, best to not... Uh, well, you can, what you can do here, it's up to you how you do this. But um, I like going like this. So fill up your inventory, kind of. Uh, something like this. And then uh, put these here and then fill up your inventory. This should help a bit. But basically, we'll see. Uh, so we click the water and then I put this here and I hit, I'm holding down the W key and I shift click, I bring this down. This is going to screw up the first time, but right now they automatically go back in your inventory. So you can go put this in W and there you go. And just do that over and over and over. Oh, did not mean to grab that one. I'm sure you guys can come up with a, a faster way, but uh, oh, I don't know why I keep grabbing that now. It's just, it's becoming a habit of grabbing it. 
Uh, now I wonder if you could, oh no, because I have to right click that in water. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could make another shortcut out of that, but it wouldn't work out so well, I don't think. Now these only take two minutes to dry, so it's not like we're wasting much time anyways in the episode. Plus I don't think we did this part, did we? We ground up the, fat, uh, the, ground up the bark, but I don't think we did this part of it. Ooh, there's a fish on the water. I mean, somebody killed something out there. There you go. And of course, sometimes the more you do it, the more your mind kind of goes crazy and starts doing things wrong, like you can see here. It's like, my mind was not made for this. There you go. Now, I do have my barrel, but I just it seemed like that that's good if you couldn't get out or something, but it just it seemed like a waste of time, to be honest. It seems just better just to get out and do it, but there you go. And then we'll put those on the thing, and we'll pick up this little fishy because why not? Ooh, is this our first night with our bed? Oh, we got to try this out. Okay, let's see how this bed works. So let's, oh, God, let's uh, middle mouse. There we go. just wanted to fix up my inventory. So here's our new bed, and uh, there you go. There you go. Daytime. No harm, no, no, you know, it's just, just regular old daytime now. Awesome. Uh, okay, so what is going on in here? So this thing is almost broken. It's gotten four shark teeth out of there. Awesome. Some dirt, some gravel, some sand, and uh, just two ink sacks, oddly enough. But uh, that's for more later than anything. Um, oh, was under there a little too long. Uh, that's, that's more for later on. Uh, just good. Oh yeah. Look at them. The hearts there. Uh, I guess those hearts, you get a little extra hearts because of the nourishment, which I guess protein gives you extra health. So, uh, we got, instead of the 10 health, we got uh, 12 and a half health. So that's, that's a cool little feature there. Uh, okay. So we're going to put these back on the racks here. Boom, 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 boom. To be honest, just the bed alone is like a big accomplishment today for us. Uh, I, I don't think uh, without that I would have been able to do much. Okay, so there's you can get your lead if you want. You can make a saddle, I guess. I wonder if that's all the, the quest here. Okay, you get your lead first. So let's do a lead here. So lead requires leather and leather strip. and oh, Okay, so a piece of leather and your knife. So there you go. And you get quite a bit out of there, so that's awesome. And then you get your, okay, so you put three of those together. Uh, will I do all three? Sure, why not? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It wasn't horrible of a recipe, so I might as well do that. And I think you're going to need, oh, and your string. Uh, and you're going to need, like, horses and stuff like that over time for uh, working, right? So there you go. They look like worms, not horses. Or, never mind, I can't think. Uh, worms, not uh leather strips okay we got that there and then we put the leather strips back in there and then we just made three leads just like that awesome and there we go advancement and then uh it says we can go ahead and make the saddle so let's go for the saddle saddle is simple it's three leather and three of those guys so eh, we we kind of use those up which is fine uh it's just that uh we needed those and now we gotta wait and then we'll go ahead and uh, it was string. There you go. There you go. So we have that taken care of. And literally, we just have to wait for the leather. So it's very dark right now. So you know it's not ready. Uh, normal leather looks a bit different. Uh, oh, I thought there was draconic. Last time I tried, was it last episode? I was trying to think of how to place the items on. It's actually not draconic, craft, uh, draconic evolution. It's not even on this pack, I don't think, from what I can tell. Uh, so when you go to controls, I typed in place, and here it is, place items in the world, immersive craft, and it's a little different. You can place four items on there, and you pick them off uh, just like these chests. In fact, I, I think these chests might be the same mod. I'm not sure, but uh, you can pick them up, and you can see them highlight. Oh, I didn't mean to break all of them like an idiot, but uh, basically it's pretty damn similar. So you, you hit P for your first time. And then you can go ahead and place anything on there, and you can pick them up just the same way as a chest. So I assume uh, this is something related to these chests here. Uh, same author, maybe. Uh, not 100% sure, of course. Oh, that's definitely regular leather. 
There you go. So leather doesn't take too long to make, honestly. It's not a, a really uh, crazy task. And then uh, basically, uh, let's double check this. Okay, so these guys up here, and then you down here. And that's our saddle. Now we can go grab ourselves a horsey. Oh no, I made a mess, there you go. And uh, that's awesome, so that's, that's a big deal for us. And there's our saddle, awesome. And then, oh man, like things are going further. There's uh, something, wheels on the bus. Craft a wheel from uh, blah, blah, blah. Use the horse cart uh, action key. Attach horses to the cart. There's horse carts. Love and carriage. What the heck? Tired of carrying stuff in your pocket? Craft a cart and attach a horse and help you carry things. Aw. So you're going to use horses a lot. That's I love that. I think that's awesome. We still haven't found the uh, the dark area yet, so uh, that's going to have to be... that's Now that I have a sleeping bag, pretty much uh, I think what will happen between now and the next episode when I feel like I've gotten things going here, I think what I'll end up doing is probably just simply going and looking for it, keep sleeping so you know mobs won't spawn and stuff, and then I will come back and be like, ta-da, I did it, my friends. And then uh, you guys will praise me, and I'll be like the king of everything, and... Yeah, so hello, horsey. I feel bad putting a lead on you like that, but uh, there you go. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. That's what it is. You get on the horse till he likes you. Which he might have liked me already. No. Oh. It's been a while. Oh, he loves you. Okay. Now you can place a saddle on him. You can put horse armor on him too. And there we go. We have our first horse. And look at him. Such a good guy. Okay. There you go. So that's, that's a big deal right there. Uh, so what you can do now is you can tie him down. Can I tie him to that? No. Okay. You know what? That would have been kind of cool to be honest. Uh, fence is usually what you can tie them down to, but there is no fences. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else you can actually tie down a horse to, to be honest. Okay, we'll, we'll leave him be. You can be free roaming horse. Uh, let's take the saddle just in case if he roams too far. I prefer to have my uh, saddle, but awesome. There you go. So that, that's a big deal, right? Uh, so the next thing is you can make a, a horse powered grindstone. So a power grindstone. Let's type in grindstone. And this one is just a horse grindstone. It's the same thing. It requires two leads. So look at that. We didn't make a big deal of using all that. Let's grab this. We might as well recycle, right? Recycle, reduce, reuse, and close the loop. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't require that one? I'm an idiot. Okay. Wow, that's special. And then we needed the smooth stone, and then we needed the, oh yeah, the stick, which I have no sticks on me. No. That's weird. I thought I had a few sticks. I must have put them away. There you go. And smooth stone, which, of course, we can cook. And I did tell you guys I, I, you can do it in this thing, right? Not those big ones. It's kind of, I was wasting some time earlier doing that, but uh, whatever. And a stick up there. And that should craft us that. There you go. Now it needs some mm, space, but I don't think it needs like an insane amount of space. I think you can just go like this and hold a lead to reverse a, uh, a seven by seven area. So it says invalid. Uh, why is it invalid? Is it because the torches are there or something else? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There has to be a 7x7 seven seven area. Oh, wait, does that go on top of a grindstone? Maybe that's what I'm derping up. There is a instructions on it. I'll have to read it here in a second if I need to, but I wonder if it just goes on top of this. Though they look pretty similar, so maybe not. This is a two by high area or whatever, right? So I'm wondering if you can just go like this. 
Nah, I don't think it goes on top. Okay, that looks dumb now. Oh god. That did not air out, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I feel like that... Uh, oh, wrong one. Should have aired out. Maybe it just has to be one higher. That's it. It's just... It's nothing to do with... Huh. That's it? Okay, I have to admit, this is a bit weird. Uh, okay, so it's a grindstone, right? So we can go ahead and grab, I don't know. Oh, we had the bone meal and stuff, so let's, or the bone. So let's go grab some more of that bone. What one looks like bone? That looks like bone. We'll see if this works. I'm not even 100% sure, honestly, but, uh. Oh, the poor horse, he's going in circles. <laughs> That's all it is. That's beyond friggin' adorable. Okay, now I'm not sure if that's good enough or if I have to do anything else. So, uh, okay, two blocks high areas needed. The grindstone needs to be placed one block up in the middle to use the grindstone attach a horse with a lead. And there's the info here, blah, 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 blah. A block of your choice and then place the grindstone above that in the area that isn't clear. Isn't cleared to the grandson will say that blah blah blah. Use a horse, donkey, mule, or llama. And I think I even saw somewhere in the thing you can use a wolf. With animals attached with the lead, right click the grindstone and the animal should be connected in that simple. Right click the thing with your item, grind it and start the process, blah blah blah. Uh, or attach any automatic input output on the top or bottom. Okay, so basically you can put a thing here and it'll automatically output. But now why is he not working? Oh, never mind. It's just not showing it. Okay, we had 27. I guess I shouldn't. I should have looked on this thing, right? Because I wasn't paying attention. So nighttime's happening any minute. So this is working out actually really well. So now what we can do is we could put a hopper or whatever on it. But now that I know you could just right click, I won't probably bother right now for that. But uh, let's make a daytime here. Go to sleep. Ta-da. There you go. And uh, there we have it. So uh, that's how you make the grindstone. Awesome. And then there's a chopping one as well. So chop, chop, chop. Uh, so let's look at that cut. Maybe it's called a chopping. Oh, yeah, it'd be a chopping block, right? It's basically a high-tech chopping block. So once again, you need to make a lead. So I guess you're going to use quite a bit of these over time, uh, more than I expected, but that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do let's let's go a little crazy here. I mean that's not really crazy, but we'll we'll do nine of them. There you go. And then we'll have to do nine in each one, I guess. There you go. Uh, now we're low on string, so we're just gonna have to make some more string, which is easy. We got the wool. And we take the wool and we chop her up. Uh, here we go. Might as well do a full stack. There you go. And then if I recall, it was just like this. I might have put this backwards, but we'll see here. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. And then the lead. Uh, actually, you know what? You might not even have to. Oh, no, it has to be done in here. I was going to say, you might be able to do this in your personal inventory, but no. It's a three, it's a full thing recipe. There you go. So leads are uh, definitely something you're gonna need a lot of over time. Well, you don't have to, but they definitely seem to have a pretty big use here. Uh, okay, so uh, the chopping block. Uh, okay, so it looks like something simple, sticks, flint. Uh, okay, we got that, and then you get your sticks. And sticks are, oh no, you did not do that, son. Okay, so when that happens, unfortunately, you gotta, uh, there you go. And then uh, sticks are all around. And then you need a flint, and what was the other one we needed? Oh, a full piece of wood, okay. 
So you need a piece of flint and then a full piece of wood, which uh, I guess we can take this. this is, we got a stack of this anyways, right? There you go. And then uh, we hammer this out. Awesome. And we'll see if this one follows a different rule, the same rules, etc. But uh, I'm hoping it's slightly different. So this needed a, it said seven, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, 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 it's seven out, right? So I guess this is, uh, you have to count it as, uh, well, it's half of uh, six, right? So six, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So you can probably do that without any issue. Doesn't even look like it's complaining. So there you go. Grab the bone meal. He'll start up again. Um, interesting. Oh, no, never mind. I got a whole stack of bone meal. I was like, interesting he didn't go past that. But then I realized we derped. Okay, so we need another horsey uh, for our chopping Sounds wrong when I say for our chopping, because we're not chopping the horsey. We just need the horsey. Hello. Show me your love. Show me your love. No. Now, here's a tip. I don't know how you tell at uh, early stage of the game. I don't know if there's a, something in its interface. I didn't look. But apparently, the faster the horse, the faster they will chop, etc. So that is kind of an awesome thing. So uh, if your horse is really fast, he will basically chop wood a lot faster or grind uh, faster on the grindstone. So that's pretty cool. So this should work, but we'll find out here in a second. Hi. Oh, there you go. And then we can just take our wood here and we'll put it on here. And there you go. And he's doing his thing. Oh! Oh, look, it's going up. I guess he lifts it up and then it just flies down and breaks it. Okay. It doesn't have a number, unfortunately, like this does. So you can't actually see how many he's done. Oh. Oh, wait. I derped up, didn't I? Oh, you know what? That might have been my fault then. Oh, no. What? Oh, you can only do one at a time still. Oh, uh, you have to automate it, I guess. Okay, so this one you probably have to have a hopper coming out and a hopper going in. So since we've already done the hoppers, that'll be something I can play off camera. But uh, yeah, that works. Awesome. So what else do we have here? Um, pressing your luck. Press charcoal into a larger block using horsepower press interesting and then you have the wheels craft wheels blah 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 for your horsies and then ancient animals i love carriage uh let's look at the wheels and the carriage anyways so here's the wheels and then it said carriage right so maybe we should look at the carriage because uh, it's probably got the, uh, oh, cart. Okay. The cart's probably got the wheels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but they require the primal chest, which we have none of those. So once again, we're getting stumped by the primal chest. I think it's getting to the point where we're going to have to go out and get some of those. Uh, shake, rattle, craft, uh, rattle, flute, and drum needed for blah, blah, blah. Oh my. So... Rattle flute rattle. Is it really want me to make like a rattle and stuff? Rattle. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Totem. Oh here it is. Totem mod. So I don't have sunflower. I know that for sure. Uh, and then uh, what was the other ones? A totem knife. But it didn't say that. It wanted me to build one of these guys. I thought. Rattle, flute, and drum. Oh, okay. So one of these is a rattle. We'll just type in rattle. Okay, so that's the rattle. I don't know what G... Oh, there you go. We can do that now, I guess. So we need you and we need you. Okay. And so we need boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. There we go. And that should be that. And then we just need a piece of stick. So, and that can be done in here, I'm assuming. So there you go. Oh 
my legitimately a rattle. Okay, uh, there was a flute. Ooh, there's an infused flute. I wonder where it's the same recipe, so I guess we don't have that yet. Oh, so we need a grass or a fern. So that is, you need shears for that one for sure. So my shears are still around here somewhere, but they probably got deposited in here when I told you that. There it is. So this one, you should be able to use shears right off the grass, and it should be just fine. There you go. So it was that and, uh, oh, okay, sugar cane again. Poor sugar cane getting used up here. So, and then sugar cane. I'm going to have to uh, plant some and get that going too over time. There we go. So there is our flute. I'm a beautiful flute, flute player. And then I think the last one was a drum. And uh, it looks like it's just planks and leather, uh, if I'm right about it. I'm not always right, though, so that's got to be added in there. So let's just put this in here. And then it looked like just a piece of leather. Oh, we're missing a piece here. Oh, now we really screwed things up. There we go. Oh, and we did it. We got an achievement. Oh, and then, of course, these are all in the way. Can I put this on the ground? Ah, here you go. Nice. Okay, and then we can put this wherever. I guess we'll put it there. And then uh, we could put this. Oh, don't forget that one item still there, the claws or whatever from the dude. There you go. And this book, uh, I guess, offers you Totem Basics. The red cedar tree is a large tree that magical pro has that magical property, so its wood is especially useful for carving totem poles out of. It can be obtained by infusing uh, a mundane sapling with musical energy in the blah, blah, blah ceremony. Oh, my. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to play around with and learn, clearly. <laughs> uh, ancient buffaloes provide valuable resources to hunters. You see to spawn them collect their hide and teeth consult with the totem uh pedia for more information so i feel like that might be one of those things i'll just have to figure out oh buffalo uh blah 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 blah, blah. they are incredibly sturdy they're very large amount of health hunting has left them nearly extinct but they can be still created with the mandan buffalo dance but these don't have a, a highlight to them yet so i'm not quite sure why Oh, no, here it is. Okay, the middle of the dance ceremonies give you strength and nearby cows turn them into buffaloes, although weaker kind than those were uh, once native, but they will grow larger and stronger over time. Oh, okay, so it makes like baby ones, basically. Okay, these are things I'm going to have to play with off camera because these are a bit confusing. Uh, but next episode, we're probably going to go and uh, look, or I'm going to look ahead of time and then uh, tell you guys or show you guys uh, the uh, the dark area that we're going to look for. The, uh, what is it called? Uh, Shadow Creek, Darklands there. Yeah, because we really need to get that going because we haven't doing, been doing that for a while. But uh, yeah, and then if we find a farm thing at the same time, awesome. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we will see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.